Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Knitting for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit this little bonnet for a newborn baby. To make this little bonnet, I used cotton baby yarn, so it's very easy to make. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using these three millimeter knitting needles and today I'm using this cotton yarn. It's called Wendy Supreme um, Cotton DK. This is, let's see, it's in the color pink and that's the color number, 1964. Okay, so to begin, I have 66 stitches here. You can use any method to cast on your stitches. Like I said, I have 66. So now to begin, the first stitch and the last stitch are our border stitch. So we're always going to slip the first stitch and purl the last stitch. So beginning here, because this is the first row, I'm going to knit the first stitch, but only in the first row. Now the second stitch, I'm going to purl. The next stitch, I'm going to knit. The next stitch, purl. This is all I'm going to do all the way to the end. Just going to alternate between knit one and purl one all the way to the end. I'll meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. Now the last stitch, remember we always purl. And this is how we finish the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to turn here. And in this row, we're going to do the opposite of what we did on the previous row. So now here, this first stitch, we're always going to slip from now on. Now the next stitch in the previous row, we knit. Now in this row, we're going to purl. So you're going to do the opposite of what you did on the previous row. So purl, knit, purl, knit. And this is how you're going to continue for the second row. You're going to knit and purl. Continue like this all the way to the end of the second row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the second row. Remember that the last stitch we always purl. And this is how we finish the second row. Now we're going to turn. So here for the third row and the fourth, you're just going to repeat the same thing we did on the previous two rows. The first stitch we always slip, the next stitch we are going to purl, next stitch knit, next stitch purl. Finish this row, remember the last stitch you're going to purl, the first stitch you're going to slip. So I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth row. Now we're going to make one more row in the same way. So in total, we're going to do five rows of knit one, purl one. So here for the fifth row, you're going to slip the first stitch, purl the next stitch, knit, purl, knit, and purl. Continue like this all the way to the end. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the fifth row and then turn. So now for row six, we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit each one of these stitches. Here we're going to begin the rest of the baby hat. So you're just going to knit each one of these stitches all the way to the end. Like this. Okay, so continue. and I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Now remember, we always purl the last stitch. Okay, and this is how we finish the sixth row. Now we're going to turn. Now for the seventh row, we're going to purl all of the stitches except for the first one where we need to slip the first stitch. And then we're going to purl like this. So we're going to knit one row and purl the next. Okay, so continue like this for this seventh row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of the seventh row, the last stitch we always purl. Now we're going to turn from here on, these are the two rows that you're going to repeat. Remember the first stitch, you always slip. And then in this row, you're going to knit each one of these stitches 
except for the last stitch where you're going to purl then you're going to turn slip the first stitch and purl each one of the stitches i'm not exactly sure how many rows i'm going to do so continue like this repeating these two rows where you knit one row and then purl the next i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue like this and i'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of the 27th row so in total from here from here to here there's, there's 27 rows and then we did five rows of knit one purl one okay so now in row 28 we're going to start reducing so here i have placed um, some stitch markers so i'm going to tell you where you need to place yours you're going to count nine stitches and then place a stitch marker between this stitch marker and the next there's eight stitches eight stitches between these eight stitches between these eight stitches between here and eight eight and here at the end nine at the ends we have nine stitches because remember the first stitch and the last stitch are our um, border stitches so here what we're going to do is we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit six that's one two three four five six now the last two here we're going to knit two together so insert your needle wrap your yarn hold it bring it through the front and remove now pass your stitch marker to this needle and again you're going to knit one two three four five six and then the last two you're going to knit two together so let me show you again so knit that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and then these two we're going to knit together like this now pass your stitch marker to this needle and repeat knit six and then the last two knit two together continue and i'll meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next okay i'm almost done with this first row of reductions here i just have my last nine stitches so same thing we're going to knit six that's two three four five six then here at the end we're going to knit two together like this now this last stitch here we're going to purl and this is how we finish the first row now for the second row we're going to turn and in this row we're going to purl all of these stitches since the reductions are only going to be made uh, in the knit row okay so here slip the first stitch and purl across like this continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next okay i finished the second row then i turned so now here for the third row we're going to knit five and then knit two together this first one remember we always slip like this and then here we're going to knit five in the previous row we knit six here we're going to knit five And then the last two right before the stitch marker we're going to knit two together okay now pass your stitch marker to this side and then again knit five that's two three four five and then these last two we knit together 
there it is and then move your stitch marker to this side and then repeat continue like this where you knit five and then knit two together all the way to the end so i will meet you here at the end once again to show you what we need to do next okay i'm here at the end of the third row i have knit my five so here these last two we're going to knit two together okay and then the last stitch we always purl And that's how we finish the third row now for the fourth row we're going to turn so for the fourth row you're going to slip the first stitch and purl across continue like this and i'll meet you again at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next okay i finished the fourth row then i turned now from here on we're going to do the same thing you're going to knit up to the last two stitches and then knit two together so let me show you so we're going to slip the first stitch like this, knit one, two, three, four, and then knit two together. Okay, pass your stitch marker to this side and then knit one, two, three, four, and then knit two together. So you're going to continue like this all the way to the end. Don't forget to knit two here at the end and then the last one you're going to purl. Then turn, slip the first stitch and purl across and then repeat. We're going to do this until we have, I don't know, about two stitches between um, stitch markers. So continue and I'll meet you back then to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I only have two stitches between each stitch marker, except for the beginning and for the end. So now here, what we're going to do is, the first stitch here we're going to slip, the next two we're going to knit together. Remove your stitch marker then knit two together remove your stitch marker then knit two together and so on here at the end you're going to knit two together and then purl the last one turn slip the first stitch and purl across i'll meet you at the end of that row to show you what we need to do next okay i purl the last row and now we only have let's see two four six eight ten stitches so now what we're going to do here is same thing we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit two together, knit two together, knit two together until we only have the last stitch left. Since I'm using cotton yarn, the knit two together is kind of hard because there's no stretch. So that's why I'm having a hard time doing these knit, knit two together. Cotton is not stretchy at all. Okay, so here, knit two together, knit two together knit two together knit two together and then the last one you're going to purl then turn slip the first stitch and purl across i'll meet you at the end of that row to show you what we need to do next okay i finished the last row now i only have two four six stitches so what i did is i cut my yarn and we're going to remove these stitches here so here we're going to remove this first stitch like this just go through that same stitch right there Remove the next. Like this. And that creates a knot right there when we do that. So don't worry about it. So here, just pull and go back to the first stitch right here, or right there to the side and close this hole and it should look like that now we're going to make a little knot here so that this part doesn't open so go back to the first stitch right there and tie a little knot here hold it so that it doesn't open so it's nice and tight there perfect now we're going to seam this part here 
and it should be pretty easy because if you can see your stitches along the very edge where we slipped it each stitch you should have a nice seam here like this so you can see the V stitches there so we're going to go from this side to this side so my yarn is on this side I'm going to find the next stitch on this side and I'm going to go through the center along the very edge here's the the stitch right there right here there's a little stitch like a bar that's where I'm going to insert my my needle to seam all of these stitches so beginning here do this and then make sure that it corresponds to the same row like this on this side that way this part here is nice and even now go to the next stitch right here wait did I do that yep I did that one go to this one and then go to the next stitch here this one and then just work your way down go to the next row right there and then the next row here Now we're only going to close this halfway. If you want to make this into a little baby hat, then just continue and sew all the way to the very end. But since we're making this into a little bonnet, I'm only going to go maybe, I don't know, halfway, um, about that much. About that much so that this part here is open. And this is where we started to reduce here at the end. So I'm going to seam this up to maybe around about here, which is, let's see how many stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's about 10 stitches from the top here. So continue and I'll meet you right about here about here to show you what we need to do next okay so I sewed up to here so let me measure it for you this is about about six and a half centimeters or two and a half inches now here what we're going to do is I'm just going to tie here uh, my yarn because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up stitches here along the very edge again um, so that we can do the same thing we did here um, in the front knit one per one so I'm just going to find a good spot here to tie a little knot here. Okay, so I just made a little knot there. Okay, so now we're going to let go of this yarn. I'm going to cut it and then I'm just going to hide it. Um, and we're going to start picking up stitches along the very edge. To do this, I'm going to use these 2.5 millimeter kneading needles. So beginning here right into this very first stitch I'm going to use a crochet hook to do this first stitch because it's a little hard sometimes to do the first stitch so I'm just trying to find a good spot here to pick up my first stitch and I'm going to pick up these stitches along the very edge see there's the the V stitch along the very edge and so I'm going to go like this to the side of every stitch so beginning here, right there. So let's see. So right about here, grab your yarn, bring it through the front, and this is our first stitch. So with these 2.5 millimeter kneading needles, I have my first stitch. Okay, so that's one. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and right in the very center where we finished, pick one up. That's fifteen, and then we're going to go and pick up fourteen on this side because that's what we did here. We did fourteen and then one in the very center. So here I'm going to pick up 14 on this side. So continue and I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. I finished picking up all these stitches here. Now I have 29 stitches. If you have one, two or three stitches less or more, it's okay, just continue. Here we're going to turn. Now here I'm going to knit the first stitch. like this so now here what we're going to do is the first one I knit the next one I'm going to purl next one I'm going to knit next one purl knit purl knit purl okay continue like this all the way to the end I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end, the last stitch I purled. So now we're going to turn. So from here on, we're just going to continue and repeat the same thing. So the first stitch you can either knit or um, slip. I'm going to slip. Now the stitch that, now the next stitch in the previous row I purled. So in this row, we're going to knit, then purl, knit, and purl continue like this. I think I'm going to do this for about five rows, which is the same number of rows we did here. So I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I did a total of six rows instead of five. So now we're going to cast off our stitches. So here, the first one I'm going to slip, the next one I'm going to purl, then I'm going to bring the first stitch over the second, like this. Again, the next one I'm going to knit, and bring the first stitch over the second stitch. The next one we're going to purl, same thing. The first stitch goes over the second stitch. Next one, knit, and same thing. Bring the stitch over the first stitch. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting off all my stitches here. At the end, all I did was just pass my yarn through that last loop, cut my yarn, and then I just hid my ends. Um, this end is where I finished. And I also went ahead and added an eye cord here. So I'm going to show you um, how we're going to do this. One more thing, I decided to use a three millimeter kneading needle instead of the 2.5 uh, needles that I told you. Um, this part here was the wasn't as stretchy so I went ahead and used a, a bigger kneading needle. Okay so now to do the eye cord here what I did is here on this other end it's the same thing. Um, using this let's see 4.5 millimeter crochet hook I'm going to actually I'm going to use a smaller hook to do this part because I'm going to go into this first stitch then go into the next into the next like this. Now we're going to Grab some yarn, make sure that you leave about that much, um, a long tail. I'd say that that's about 20, 24 inches or so. Now grab a loop like this, bring it through, and now switch to the 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and insert your hook there into that loop. Now this strand is coming from the skein and this other one is coming from the um, long tail that we left. So here you're going to split these two 
And what I like to do is this. You're going to wrap the long tail over the hook like this and then grab a loop. See, like this. Now again, wrap the yarn and pull a loop. Wrap the yarn, pull a loop. See? It's like wrap the yarn and then chain one. Wrap the yarn, 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 chain one. And you can start seeing the I cord forming. Make sure that you use the same tension when you're doing this here so that it's not too loose. And it should look like this. Now this one here measures, let's see. It measures about, about seven inches. So continue and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this other side. It's measuring about seven inches. So now to finish, you're just going to cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop like this. And then pull on it really good like this. And now you can tie an, a little knot here at the end and then just weave your end. So this part here is done and the baby bonnet is done. And that's what it looks like. I think it turned out super, super cute. So here I'm going to put it on my little model. Let's see. And there it is. Such a cute little bonnet for a newborn baby. Now, I used cotton yarn. So as you know, cotton yarn is not stretchy, but I think that if you were to use acrylic yarn, um, that it would be a, a lot more stretchier, so it would fit a baby, I'd say between zero and three months. This one here, it should fit a baby between, um, a newborn baby up to maybe one or, or two months, not three months. So there it is, that's what it looks like. This is the back, see right there. And that's the back. So there's our finished little bonnet. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.